Hey y'all and welcome back for a new video. If you would like to see how I went from this mess of Bantu knots to this sleek high puff, keep watching. To refresh my hair with the moisture it so desperately needs, I will be using from Camille Rose, the Honey Dew Liquid Moisture Refresher. This is a concentrated nourisher infused with honey and nettle and it's great for moisturizing, detangling, and reviving my wash and goes and protective styles. To seal in all this great moisture, I'm going to apply from scalp to the ends of my hair, also from Camille Rose, the Ajani Growth and Shine Scalp Conditioner with Biotin and Castor Oil. This is an intense moisturizing and growth stimulating conditioner with hydrating butters and oils. The texture of this conditioner is solid, but it melts quickly by the heat of your hands for easy and smooth application. I got some edge control to slick up the perimeters of my hair. And lastly, the Bunsy band to hold it all together. I ran across this band on Amazon, and even though the reviews were not that great, I bought it anyway because it was cheap, and I figured it might work for my hair. Some things you just gotta try for yourself. So I'm just gonna unravel the rest of these Bantu knots that I've worn for about a week and a half. I don't go too many places nowadays, but I just got the urge to switch up the look and do something different. I'm going to evenly spray this refresher all over my hair very thoroughly, and you may see me go back to reapply some more. My hair can never get enough of this stuff. I don't want to saturate my edges too much because I'll be slicking that up with the gel, but the rest of my hair will be thoroughly coated, and I'm just going to massage it into my hair really well until my hair is evenly moisturized and softened. Next to seal in all this luscious moisture, I'm going to go in with the Ajani Conditioner, which is also described as a trifle chocolatey butter conditioner to accelerate hair growth. This conditioner is very rich, buttery, and it smells like chocolate. I use this every other day and massage it into my scalp and my hair for about 10 to 15 seconds, as the product suggests. This conditioner is an amazing sealant for my hair, especially the ends of my hair. It leaves it very super soft and moisturized. To start this look, I'm going to do an accent part slash flat twist, which really wasn't necessary. I was just trying to be extra. And as you can see, my part is not that great, <laughs> but I didn't even care to fix it, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Now to slick and brush my edges and hair up with this black seed gel. Because this edge gel is black, I have to really make sure I blend it in my hair very well so it doesn't look like shoe polish stuck to my scalp. I want it to look as natural as I can. This brush that I'm using, I found at the dollar store. One side is firm and the other side is soft. I really like this brush. I'm gonna use the firm side to really catch and smooth my edges and get them as slick as I can. Now to put this Bunsy band to the test. This non-slip cushion band is great for ponytails, hair buns, hot puffs, pineapple buns, and much more. It's practical, quick and easy to use. It claims it's extremely strong and durable. It won't break or stretch out. It's soft and comfortable, and it allows adjustable sizing to get the perfect fit every time. And once you have your band adjusted to the perfect fit, you'll just simply take the ends of the bands and tuck them in. So that concludes the video and my high puff. So I have to admit, I do like the Bunsy band, despite the reviews uh, that are out there. For me, it worked perfectly. My puff feels very secure. It feels very comfortable. It's not too tight. I also like how it smooths and slicks my hair all the way up. And I don't have these lumps where I have to put bobby pins to um, flatten it down. No extra bobby pins for security needed. My bun feels very comfortable. I don't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. I don't feel like it's gonna start 
to loosen over time. It's like really, really secure. So I really do like it and I will continue to use it. It's very convenient, it's hassle-free, it's easy to put on, and I can just head right out the door, especially when I'm in a hurry. So this is one I would definitely recommend if you're looking for something to really gather and hold your puff. This is definitely one that I would highly recommend. The only con that I had, and this is just a slight con, but it was a little annoying. I noticed that when I was pulling the band uh, tighter it was starting to grab little pieces of my hair strands and starting to pull so you have to make sure that you have all of your hair out of the way slicked up as much as you can so that way when you start to pull your bunsy band it doesn't start pulling your hair and snagging and tearing your hair out so you just want to be very careful of that um but that's pretty much it i really loved and enjoyed all of the products that i used to achieve my high puff and i will also put those products in the description box below so you can check it out so with that said, if you enjoyed this video, if you like the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!